Welcome Geo friends. Have you ever held a story in your hand? Today we journey to uncover such a marvel. It's called Starlight, but many know it by another name, the Fairy Cross. These aren't just ordinary rocks, they are nature's tiny sculptures formed deep within our planet. These remarkable stones often look like little crosses, perfectly formed, as if carved by an unseen hand. This unique shape has captivated humans for centuries, sparking curiosity and igniting the imagination. How does nature create such a precise, geometric form? What secrets do these little crosses hold? Prepare to be amazed by this geological wonder. It's a tale of chemistry, physics, and a dash of legend. The allure of Storolite is undeniable. Holding one feels like connecting to something ancient. These stones are more than just minerals to collect. They are messengers from a slow, powerful world, the world of geological time, of immense pressures and temperatures. Let's explore this captivating gem together. Think about the forces at play. Deep within the Earth's crust, a slow dance of elements, iron, aluminum, silicon, oxygen atoms, all coming together under specific conditions. The result? These enchanting little crosses. The same laws that govern the stars and galaxies also create these miniature marvels right here on Earth. Isn't that just astounding? Come on, let's find out more. So what exactly this starlight? At its heart, it's a type of silicate mineral. That means silicon and oxygen are key players, but they're not alone in this atomic dance. Iron, aluminum, and sometimes magnesium or zinc join in. The precise chemical formula is a bit complex. Fe2 plus HZN2 Al9 Psi Al 4O22 OH2 quite a mouthful. Simply put, it's an iron aluminum silicate. These elements are the fundamental building blocks. These atoms don't just clump together randomly. They arrange themselves in a very specific orderly pattern. This pattern is what we call a crystal structure. For storolite, this structure belongs to the monoclinic system. Imagine tiny building blocks, the unit cells stacking up. In the monoclinic system, these blocks are slightly tilted like a shoebox that's been gently pushed askew. This internal architecture is crucial. It dictates many of the mineral's properties, including its shape. The way these atoms bond and stack determines the crystal's habits. Storolite typically forms prismatic crystals, elongated column-like shapes. These individual crystals are interesting on their own, but Storolite has a fantastic trick up its sleeve. A trick that leads to its famous cross shapes. This isn't about magic, though it certainly looks like it, it's about the fascinating science of crystallography. Understanding this atomic arrangement is key, it's like knowing the blueprint of a magnificent building, nature the ultimate architect. Now for the really cool part those crosses, how do they form? The secret is a phenomenon called twinning. Imagine two or more crystals growing together, not just side by side but interpenetrating each other. They share some of their crystal lattice points. It's like they're giving each other a very specific geometric hug. This isn't a haphazard collision, it's an ordered growth. Storolite is famous for this kind of behavior, it's what makes it so special and sought after. This specific type of twinning in Storolite is called penetration twinning. One crystal appears to pass right through another at very specific angles. The most common are crosses at nearly 90 degrees, sometimes called St. Andrew's crosses. Another common form is a cross at about 60 degrees known as Roman crosses. These angles aren't random. They are dictated by the crystal's internal structure, the monoclinic system we talked about earlier. When twinning occurs, the new crystal section orients itself along one of these specific crystallographically defined directions relative to the original crystal. This results in the characteristic X shape or cross shape. It's a beautiful example of symmetry in nature. No sculptor needed, just the laws of crystal growth, the universe expressing itself through mineralogy. These fairy crosses are not man-made. They are the natural result of how storolite crystals grow under particular conditions of temperature and pressure. It's science, but it feels like magic, doesn't it? Whispers from the past, storolite in human history and folklore, these incredible cross-shaped stones have fascinated people for ages, and when something is mysterious and beautiful, legends are born. It's said that when the fairies heard of Christ's crucifixion they wept, hence the name fairy stones or fairy tears, symbols of good luck, protection and faith, early Christians saw them as symbols of the cross of Christ. Hunting for Earth's tiny treasures, finding and valuing starlight. Storolite forms during regional metamorphism, it's found in metamorphic rocks like schists and gneisses. These rocks were once shales or muddy sediments, 
Steep burial and heating transform them. Storolite is an index mineral. It indicates temperatures and pressures the rock experienced. Typically medium-grade metamorphism, storolite is found globally. Famous locations include Virginia and Georgia, USA. Also found in Switzerland, France, Russia, and Scotland. Weathering leaves storolite crystals in soil or stream sediments. Easier to find for collectors. Storolite isn't typically cut for jewelry. Its value lies in its unique form and origin. Well-formed crystals and twinned crosses are prized. The sharper the cross, the more desirable. Their true value is often sentimental or scientific. For more amazing weekly mineral reviews, please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Stay curious.